I found the worst video games of all time and played them all in one sitting. Guys, I think Nintendo's at my door. Why did I do it? I have no f***ing idea. This is Leader Strike, a first-person shooter where you can play as your favorite characters, such as <clears throat> Abraham Lincoln, 16th President of the United States and a Hall of Fame wrestler. I'm serious. Barack Obama. You know who he is? He likes to make chili. This guy. You know who he is? He likes to eat chili. Merkel. Dude, who the f*** is Merkel? Ooh. Yeah, I'm actually gonna look it up. Google says he's a- <laughs> <laughs> What? Okay, if I say he's German, take a wild guess as to what his first name is. <laughs> okay, so apparently Merkel was the Chancellor of Germany, and that's not the same Merkel we looked up. But how was I supposed to know that? I don't care about Germany. It's not like they've done anything significant to alter the history of the world. Leader Strike was a surprise to me, because unlike a certain game later on in this fucking video, it was actually kind of fun. Where are you? Where you least expect it. Where are you? Oh my god. I just can't play it because it's dead. If I'm being honest, the actual gameplay isn't the worst, and in what other game can you play as Obama? 4 out of 5 stars. Next, we have Superman 64. Now, when people talk about the worst video games ever made, usually two games come up. The E.T. game for the Atari, and this piece of shit. Now, out of all the bad games I found for this video, this was the most unfun. The controls are dog shit. I didn't even learn how to fly until 15 minutes in, and I had no idea what the objective of the game was. What's the goal here? Okay, this is like the base of operations. This, this looks important. I don't think this is where I'm supposed to to go. I literally don't know how to progress. My expectations were low, but holy shit! Zero out of five stars. I'm not joking when I say I would rather play catch with a rock than touch this game again. I refuse to believe there was a time where people thought this was fun. I seriously feel bad for the kids who grew up playing this because my generation just has way better games. Like Modern Warfare 3 for the Nintendo DS. Why am I doing this? This game fucking sucks, and it's not because of the game itself, but because of the stupid decision to put a Call of Duty game on a DS. This game's gameplay is almost as dry as your mom. I could see multiplayer being fun if you're on the way to your school and you want to play with your friends on the bus. After all, I lived in Texas, so you got to get your target practice in. Oh god, I can't put that in the video. Just for a reference of how bad the controls are, in every Call of Duty game ever made, you aim in with the left trigger. But in this game, to aim in, you have to pull out your stylus and touch the screen. I don't know who thought this was a good idea. It's so bad. Now, there actually is a campaign mode, but I opted for something called challenge mode, and it's unique. I think I heard something up ahead. Quiet. I'm pretty sure the game wanted me to melee Jonathan with my knife, but I think I somehow missed, which I didn't even know was possible, so I'll give COD the benefit of the doubt that I suck and give it two and a half stars. The next game is a special case, because although it sucks ass, it holds a place near and dear to my heart, and it's Ocarina of Time. <laughs> Guys, it's a joke. It's a joke. It's actually Fall Girls. Oh, how I miss this game. If you don't know what Fall Girls is, allow me to explain. Fall Guys plus Waifus. This game is a giant meme in my community because I have actually made a video on it. It's terrible. Please don't watch it. And I can safely say a game has not caused me this much pain. Except for one other specific game. But I'll get to that later. The content. Am I even racing? Bro, I'm not even racing. They're, the other people are just standing still. Okay, is this it? Like, is this the entirety of the game? There's no, like, customization? Yeah, this game is fucking amazing. Look at that. The content. Okay, what is gallery? Spray. Okay, uh... Okay, no, get out of here, please! What is that? No, no, it's on the screen, like, forever now. Gallery updated. All right, guys. Are you ready? Dolphin. Okay. All right, so the gallery updated. Let's go check it out. Oh, no. You know what? I'll give it A plus for the physics. You motherfuckers are passing the f gallery sauce in Discord? Chill! The gameplay. No! Okay, guys. Um, I'm gonna go make a sandwich real quick. I'll be back. Maybe I respawn. I don't know how to get up here, dude. I was like struggling for like a solid ass like 15 minutes. I literally don't know how to progress. And this sucks because I want to finish the gallery. One and a half stars. What if I told you that there's a secret Mario game out there that Nintendo never released? And the reason is, is that it's so good that if the public played it, they would all die. Welcome to Super Mario Bros. Friders. Nintendo, please don't sue me. I have no fucking money. I actually think this is the worst creation known to man. I can't even begin to describe how bad this game is. If Jesus came back today, he would literally say, nah, fuck this and leave Earth. I'm just going to start naming reasons why this game sucks. The blurry background that gives me a headache. The fact that there's no lives and whenever you hit 100 coins, it goes above 100, which is so cursed. The fact that Mario can double jump. The fact that there's superstars everywhere. The fact that there's only three levels in the game and whenever you play those three levels, it loops back to the first level. The fact that there's only one power up in the game and it's the fucking shield from Sonic the Hedgehog. The fact that they literally ripped Sonic the Hedgehog platforms. And they also ripped Sonic the Hedgehog music.
I'm serious when I say this. I would rather sit on a pine cone bare naked than play this shit again for five minutes. I think this game deserves no less than negative 20 out of five stars. After that abomination, let's cleanse our palate with one of the best games ever made. Two player among soccer. What am I looking at? This game actually starts out strong because it's exactly what's advertised. Two player among soccer. Now, I don't know if it's illegal or not because they actually have the among us there. Among us is among guy. But what I do know is that it's actually a pretty fun game. I was playing for about an hour and a half because I was obsessed with one thing. I wanted to be the goat at this game. The number one ranked two player among soccer player. I can't think of a more prestigious title. The only problem is there's no leaderboard. So the next best thing is to beat some random kid on the internet 50 to zero. Now I actually started this challenge as a joke because I was playing this live on Twitch, but then I got really close one time and realized it was actually possible. But then I never got close again and chat kept calling me trash. So I just ended my stream and got serious. Okay. I found my victim. The first goal is the most important goal. We have to get it to hit 50 and you'll see why. There's a broken fucking strategy involving jumping as soon as the ball lands and kicking it in their own goal. See that? It's literally unstoppable. Now we just have to do that 50 times. Guys, I really hope you are enjoying the video, by the way. I put a lot of effort into this one, and I'm really taking a more quality over quantity approach to YouTube now. Come on! I have massive plans for YouTube, so you should consider subscribing while you're early. Come on! And if you really enjoy what you're watching, you can support me on Patreon and help me reach my goal of becoming a full-time content creator. Come on! For just $1, you can get your name at the end of every single one of my videos. Come on! We just gotta keep this up. No! Please! Is it even possible anymore? We can't give up yet, we have to try. 47! 48! 49! 50! We did it! I will remember this moment for the rest of my life. This game is actually really fun, so 5 out of 5 stars. <sighs> It's finally time. The most painful game ever made. Deal or no deal for the Game Boy Advance. Why is he looking at me like that? Now, I'll explain the premise of deal or no deal very quickly. It's a game show where you pick a briefcase and you can either win one penny or a million dollars. You do not know what's in the briefcase when you pick it. And obviously, we're going for the million, but I'm only giving myself one shot. What the fuck is that? That's not a human being. Now I think it's time I introduce you to my better half. Actually, 26 of my better half. What? Yeah! Oh yeah, they look beautiful. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little hazy on how to play this game, but I'm just gonna pick five. Six cases to open. 300. Is low or bad? Good. Yes. 5K? Yes. His lips aren't saying that. We're doing okay. You know what? That's great. We will take that. Oh, yes. But now I can get a penny. I can get fucked. Okay, the first round is over. Now, you see the banker up there? That's the one person in this room that doesn't want you to go home with a ton of money. So he's calculating. He wants you out of here now. He's looking at you. He's watching you. Okay. The offer is... 34k? Fuck that! Oh shit, I pressed 23 on accident. <gasps> no! I lost 400k? Okay, that's not an option anymore. What if I should've done the deal? Wow, that hurts. That really hurts. 10k, okay, that's not bad. 13. 13 is a bad number, and okay, it worked out. No! Oh no, uh, 8. Okay, I think that's okay. Good round, good round. Let's see how much it helped. Previous offer, 34k. Oh! Deal or no deal? I'm gonna say no deal still. Fuck that. We're here to win big. Oh, yes. Now we just gotta get, like, the ones up there. Pick a case. Oh shit, I didn't mean to click that. It's fine. It works out. What if we actually pick the million dollar case? Whoa! Five! Oh no, that's not good. We went to 34k to 85k. 135k. I'm gonna go no deal, bro. Okay. This is amazing, but what's scary is we still have the penny there. And the one dollar. Come on. 270k. That's a lot of money. No deal, dude. I make such great financial decisions. Oh no! No! That timing! It's either I get the million or the penny. Watch. Fuck me. Come on, banker. 320 grand, dude. It's so much money. No deal. Y'all know what we're going for. Oh! The penny's gone! This is great! The dollar's still there, though. Come on, please! 430 grand. No deal. What if we actually pull the million? The banker's fucking getting nervous. He's gonna raise it higher. Watch. 540 grand. I'm gonna be completely honest. In real life, I would take this deal. But no deal. I want the million. No! Zero out of five stars because I'm salty. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and click whatever video is showing on your screen now. Because according to the YouTube algorithm, that's what you want to see next.